Hey everyone, Grimer here, doing another episode on the Vintagecraft server. Uh, Christmas has now passed, and so uh, my wife needs to get online and open up her presents still. Uh, I open up mine. Thank you to Alyssa Muffins and Wyatt for the uh, pickaxes, milk, milk and or, uh, pickaxe, milk and cookies, and other fun stuff that you gave me in mine. That was pretty awesome. Um, I think I stored it up here actually. Uh, oh, Grimer's gift right here. Yep, if, you, uh, if you've never played on this server, people like to just give you a bunch of stuff, especially late game like this where everyone has basically everything. My favorite part about all this, I mean, this is awesome backup pickaxe, uh, awesome backup shovel because, I mean, I have basically the same thing. Uh, everything about this is amazing, but milk and cookies, I'm really digging those. Um, so thank you to those two. Uh, I'm doing a little update video today to let everybody know uh, kind of... How I've been doing on the server, I've been doing a, a little bit of work, I've been uh, I've kind of taking a break from the server for a little bit while I've tackled other projects in life and not to mention like real life stuff as far as, you know, kid and holidays and family and wife and all that other stuff. But um, I've been doing some work on the surface here, uh, taking a break from the sewers. I, I will get to the sewers in a little bit uh, because I've, I've, done, I've done a little bit of work on them. But uh, here in the kingdom, actually, I decided it'd be good because this place is kind of, kind of small if I... Uh, if I increased the size of it a wee bit. So I went over here to the farms, uh, and there's a stretch of desert north of the farms here that I've had a path that have, has led to like a dead end for, uh, I don't know, probably about eight months. I haven't, <laughs> haven't actually done anything with it. And so I decided now would be a good time to just expand on it. So I, one, I, I did a little bit of terraforming over here. I'm going to be expanding the farms this way. Maybe not any wheat farms, but I'm thinking maybe like a lavender field or something like that might be good. Uh, Mix in with something else, maybe. I'm thinking about putting some of those uh, tall, thin trees. I don't know what they're called. They kind of look like the hops, actually, except for they're a little thicker and bigger. Kind of blocking out the desert over on that area there. And uh, I have this line of torches here that are supposed to, like, signify where the path is going to go cutting through this. It's supposed to swerve around. This used to be Creed's base over here, or Moongus. Uh, he left the server and, uh, and isn't coming back, apparently, so I went ahead and cleared out some area with the uh, permission of the new owner, which I believe is Sofa, Sofa 7. Um, we handled all that a long time ago, though, but I, I just haven't touched this area um, in a while. Now, this used to be like a, like a drop-off, like a four-block drop-off, and this actually is like two or three blocks lower than what it is right now. And I did, I did a little bit of work to uh, terraform this all out. But also, uh, let's get back over there, uh, that pathway to the north of the farms. Let's see if I can do a good ender pearl. Ha ha. Yeah, that was pretty good. Uh, the pathway north of the farms here uh, now has a bridge that connects over to the new section of the kingdom that I'm working on. And this will, so the, the rest of the kingdom's over that way. And then there's the mountain range right here. And then there'll be this little section right here. I got this bridge going across it right now. Uh, and I built the stables over here as well. So I have three stables now in the kingdom. Um, that way I can actually, and I should be doing it right now, I, I can actually ride a horse back and forth between the areas. Uh, naturally, you know, I'm not because I completely forgot. Uh, but the stables over here is actually built in and complete right now. I just have to do a little bit of the interior there because it was built on a slope, so I have to kind of jazz this up a bit. Um, but yeah, this, uh, this land over here uh, is going to have houses that are kind of a bit more spread out. Like, these are the two biggest buildings I think I'm going to put over here. They're outlined right now. But the rest of them are going to be a little bit more spread out because this is on the edge or outskirts of the kingdom. So I want a little bit more land, less buildings. Um, I'm going to terraform this whole area just like how I did for the rest of the kingdom uh, and make this into a nice little place. Uh, the I'm going to put a little field back here, kind of on this uh, part jutting off the mountain here. Uh, right right where the river is, and this will be a semi-fenced in area, and this will be basically like a, a grazing field for the horses, and that should be pretty, uh, pretty, pretty. And then the rest of the kingdom is going to expand outwards this way, and kind of curve around the mountain a wee bit, and there'll be some houses and buildings along here, and that should be it then. I have to also fix all the sand going up the mountain to kind of make it blend in with this kind of terrain. Uh, but yeah, that's that's an update as to what I've been doing on the surface. As far as what I've been doing underground, though, that's an entirely different thing. Actually, I think if I just kind of yeet this over this way, I should be able to uh, I should be able to get over there a little quicker. Uh, I'll probably end up building like another windmill also in the lavender fields area too, because it makes sense if you have this massive amounts of uh, of farmland, you should probably have multiple windmills. Now let's get back over here. There's also the custom spruce trees there that I haven't worked on in a while, but uh, I'm working on them. 
over time. Uh, I should actually buckle down and knock out a couple more of those. They get a little boring after a while when you keep building them. Uh, but this area up here, actually, I don't remember if I've showcased this off before, but this area up here, uh, I'm going to do the whole forest, actually, like this, where they're all custom trees. Um, some of them, obviously, are still vanilla trees, which i got to change over. There's a down tree right here, which is kind of looks like a pile of blocks, but, I mean, it's really difficult to build a diagonal collapsed tree, so that's about as best as I could right there. Um, but, yeah, there's the mine up here, which uh, i got to get to work on building a lumber camp here. Um, I actually tasked that to one of my friends, and he just hasn't gotten around to it yet. Uh, but this is the outline for it. There'll be a lumber camp. There's a little axe stuck in the log there. A uh, little water uh, feature here, like a little river that I carved in also. Uh, and then the mine itself right here, which at the moment, like how I have these little details, like the tools and stuff laying around. Uh, at the moment, this just kind of goes in and goes in nowhere. And there's like a mine cart stuck there, but I mean, it's, it's not really for anything. Um... Might turn that into a gem cavern later, but uh, that's that's about it for right now. So, heading back towards the kingdom, I also went ahead and added a little uh, little Zelda Easter egg here because I have I have a path that is uh, I need to finish building, and I think it comes up the edge of the mountain here, and it curves down in front of along the the edge of the water here. Uh, but I haven't haven't put it in yet. Like right here uh, is where the path ends, and it's supposed to curve this way and go up the mountain. <clears throat> but I did add this little cave right here <laughs> because I, I'm a big Zelda fan. So if you go into this cave, you might find uh, Lazmark's head on on a on a mannequin. But it says it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. That is, of course, a Zelda uh, uh, Easter egg from the very first Zelda game on the Nintendo uh, Entertainment System, where if you uh, go into that very first cave, you find. Uh, there'll be an old man standing there with a sword saying it's dangerous to go alone and take this. There's some uh, visitors I have doing some uh, bathing in the, the lake, it seems. Uh, are, where's your captain? There's your captain. Let's see if I can't... Uh... Excuse me, pardon me. There we go. Got him twice. Let's see if I can't... Uh... Got him. <laughs> All right, so now let me get let me get out of here a little bit. Uh, the captain's dealt with. I, I was just trying to avoid the uh, the bad omen effect, so I kind of weaken him up and then let his own guys shoot him. Let's see if I can pop one of them from here. Ha! Overshot. Ha! Missed him. I got one. Okay, that's good enough. I'll deal with them later. Uh, all right. So the sewers, though, I've been doing some work on the sewers. Now, last time I showed you them, uh, I was down in. Uh, on the western side of the sewers, and there's like a kind of a portcullis looking gate that was blocking it. Uh, and that's about as far as I had gotten. I've, I've finished those uh, those sections now. Uh, and then there's also a massive spillway where that will lead down uh, to a underground section of the entire area uh, called, uh, uh, oh, let's say goodbye to Grand, uh, called, uh, uh, it's, it's actually where the ruins of Atlantis are going to be. Uh, we're still working on digging that out. That's a huge project. So this is a little bit of a catacombs. Like, this is confusing down here, but this should be the spillway straight up ahead here. Aha! All right, so I've been doing the base layout of this stuff here, just, just getting started. And you can see the sewers down that way are done and done that way, but this is actually the spillway. Now, there's a lot of torches. The torches are only temporary because uh, it's going to be dark and gloomy and scary, and mobs are actually going to spawn in here, so you're going to have to be careful. Um, but because this is, uh, this is like a collapsed section of the spillway over here that, uh, my, according to the lore book, uh, a creeper went off and that's what caused this to happen. It caused this tunnel to get blocked up and, uh, and that's why there's no northern, uh, sewer lines that you can easily access. And then, um, uh, uh, and then this part right here is where the actual spillway, it was supposed to have gone down into like a drainage tunnel thing, but it collapsed and it, it ended up opening into a large underwater cavern there. Now, the uh, the cavern's not done. That's what we're working on. It, it literally is just a big open hole in the ground right now. We're, we're just working on clearing it out. But it's going to be about the size of the entire kingdom. If, well, a little bit smaller. But yeah, these sewers are, are done. I should have drank a night vision potion so you guys can actually see what's going on here. But let me slap down a torch so you can actually see. This is what it looks like down here. It's, it's kind of decrepit and, and uh, dead-looking, sort of. But yeah, this is a... Uh, this section is completely done. Um... So I'm, it's like the sewers are basically half done at this point. 
Uh, I've been working on that thing for months, and it's, it gets really repetitive, and uh, it looks great when it's done, but it gets really repetitive, and it, it starts getting kind of boring after a while, and so you sort of lose motivation to keep on building. So to keep the motivation fresh, I'm doing something different, uh, and that's what I did up on the surface. I was doing the... Uh, I was doing the, the new section of the kingdom and, and terraforming some farms and stuff. And then after doing that for a, a, a week or two or so, I'll probably get right back to this. Oh, I think it's getting nighttime out there. I do want to sleep whenever I can because uh, nighttime uh, spawns a lot of terrible things in my kingdom. So unless someone is specifically trying to stay awake, I, I usually try to sleep as often as possible. I just heard a pillager going, her. Um, but another little thing I added down this way is I added this little section, which this will block off the water. I added turtles! added turtles to the sewer. Why? Because, why not? This is definitely an Easter egg <laughs> for the Ninja Turtles. Uh, and they're just chilling down here. Uh, and they, they can't get out because you have to actually do a little parkour, kind of jump, grab the, the rope, or grab the vines there. But, yeah, I added some Ninja Turtles to the, uh, the sewers. Why not? And these uh, these tunnels, actually, they, they're they false tunnels. They don't actually, you know, they they have something there to block it. It's all uh, black concrete and stuff like that. But it looks good, especially from a distance. Um, it looks convincing, like it's a deep dark tunnel. So yeah, I added I added some uh, some some turtles to the uh, the sewers too, and then I, I obviously still have to finish all of these areas here. That's why you got the stone cutter and you have the the, uh, the boxes and stuff. I moved them back there actually, uh, so that I can start doodadding up all this stuff. Who knows? I might throw one or two more Easter eggs into this area. Um, there's a lot of stuff I can pack into this. Now, as far as what we have going on as as uh, as far as plans for the future on this stuff. So there's there's still the the area down below what I just showed you we were digging out. Who's doing that her? Oh, you're not captains. Oh yeah, piercing. Um as far as what we have going on down below, uh the the uh, Atlantis build is still on the cave there. We still have to dig that out. I mean, that's another really boring project though, so after doing that for a couple months you get bored. You do have to clear out a lot of area. Like I said, this 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 place is is a little insane. Let me see if I can't get on top of a building here, and um, and then I'll pull up the uh, the Dynamap and let you guys see that and see just how big this is. Okay, so welcome to the Dynamap. Right now we got Tasty Bacon and the Neon Homer on uh, line, but right here here's Spawn right here, World Spawn. When you join the world, you join here. So southwest of there is where my place is. You can actually see it pretty well on the map. Here's uh, Lasmark's big. Uh, dish of some kind that he I don't know if he'll ever finish uh but here's here's the kingdom and this is uh this is the area I showed you where I'm working on the new stuff and the field that I'm going to be expanding the farms to uh and this is where I just end up pearl up onto that uh that house that I was next to the entrance to the well was right there so to get an idea of just how big this place is that's how that's how big it is the underground cavern that we're working on building though is like if you follow the mouse cursor here underneath the clock is like this big so <laughs> it's a pretty large area that we're clearing out. So it takes it takes a long, long time. But yeah, this is this is a pretty massive map. There's a lot of awesome builds on this place. Uh, I've I, like I've done a couple world tours already. I'm gonna have to do a couple more. Especially the Wafflers. They're building something down here that is a little insane. Not gonna lie, I might have to take a trip down there. Um. So yeah, that's the size of the cavern we're digging out. Okay, so. That's the that's what we got going on underground. But on the surface, uh, aside from the new expansions I've already showed you, there's a couple of projects still on the to-do list. Now, uh, in the southwest section of the kingdom, there is a, uh, a sandstone quarry, and uh, in one of the books in the library, I'm going to add a, a miner's journal, and it's going to talk about how they're they're going to break they're, they've broken into a really large cavern of some kind. It seems to have a lot of gems and riches and stuff in there, and that that cavern is actually going to be based off the Cave of Wonders from Aladdin. I think that'd be kind of a cool little thing to add in there. Now, I don't really know how I would do a lamp in this game. So I, I might not, or I have to build it block for block, and it's going to be a giant lamp. I don't really know. So I might not. I might just base it off of the the uh, the Cave of Wonders as far as, like, a, so I hear footsteps. There's a lot of rabbits and stuff that spawn in sometimes. So a lot of times I think they're creepers, but they're just rabbits bouncing away. So over here is the, is the sandstone quarry, and... Uh, I thought it'd be cool if uh, if the the cave or the mining operations down there actually busted into like the the top or the side or something like that of the actual cave of wonders, um, 
because then they could actually write about it, how there's gems all over the place, stuff like that. But now the Cave of Wonders, if you remember from Aladdin, had the big uh, tiger head, I think it was. I think it was a tiger head. So I found this little valley over on this side of the hill, and I, w I want to do something with this. Uh, so this is on the to-do list also. I'm thinking like a small little encampment with some small buildings, you know, and a little kind of town civilization just on the outskirts of the kingdom embedded in these foothills here. And then uh, and then have the that whole tiger head thing built into the side right here, closed, because it's obviously the, you know, the diamond in the rough hasn't entered it, so, but they'll have busted in through the top of it through here, so that's kind of the plan for the Cave of Wonders, and that's, uh, I think that's about it for as far as the, all the little things we're going to pack into the kingdom, unless we think of anything else, uh, that's going to be about, about it, so yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this little, uh, little tour around the kingdom, uh, we are working on the interiors. I, uh, I suppose before I wrap up the episode, I should talk about that. We are working on the interiors. So, like this is a this is a church, for example, and based on the cross, it's more of a Christian-based church. So we got this going on in here, and then uh, uh, the wife's actually been doing a lot of the interiors. She did this one. We even have like the I think this is like the first book of Genesis, like written in here. It's kind of insane. Like she's taking some time on some of this stuff too. There are pillagers everywhere. I just heard another one. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay. Sorry, there's there's bad guys all over the place. Um, but yeah, we're doing some of the interiors, uh, and we're working our way. We're going to try to do the entire kingdom, actually. Just so, something simple. A lot of it's just like this, nothing really fancy. Uh, some of them will have little books in it that'll explain, flesh out the lore a little bit better. Um, you know, it's not going to be anything too elaborate, uh, but it should add to a little bit of the realism of the area, where when you can actually go inside the houses and there's there's chests and stuff like that, and there's like livable things, there's a furnace and whatnot. So it makes it feel like there's actually like people living here, even though of course you know there's not. But yeah, we're working on all the interiors. Um, I got several places. That was just one area that one stretch that we did already. So. But yeah, that's basically it. Oh, I suppose, uh, yeah, there is one other project I have to do, and this is something that's been on my to-do list since uh, I first built the nether portal, is I need to actually build the nether portal on the other side of this, because in the nether, um, I have my nether portal. I mean, it's it's really not great. It's a cobble box. Uh, so, yeah, this is it. Like, when people come to see some huge epic kingdom, this is what they see is, yeah, Grimer's Babel, the second kingdom, in a cobble box attached to it, nothing really it's it's pretty bad so i gotta i gotta make this look beautiful because this looks like crap so yeah this is gonna be probably one of my leading projects here once i finish that new section of the kingdom so yeah that's basically it that's the, that's a little update video for you as to far as uh, what as far as what i'm doing on the vintage craft server still I'm still uh still working hard on this building on this actually this isn't something that i've uh i've ditched uh anything or i haven't uh, i haven't ditched on this yet um in fact i won't until the server resets actually because i put way too much effort into this to just kind of give up on it now so yeah i'm still pressing on still going to keep building all this stuff and it's still going to be amazing and uh there's not a whole lot of people that still play on the server uh pretty routinely i'd guess there's probably like a dozen or so uh and they play at different times some in the morning some in the, at night we're all we're all around the world on the server so um but yeah uh I'll be one of these people that are on here until the server closes, so uh, if you did enjoy this little world tour, though, uh, or this little kingdom tour, please be sure to leave a like down below, and I will catch you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Click on some of these things here, you see. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> Avoiding audio copyrights. <laughs> Mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm.